Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to take apart the Devo Knives US Growler prototype here from Shank Knives. Um, so the reason I want to take this apart is two reasons. Uh, it's a prototype, so I want to see inside. I like to do that. And secondly, this clip is a bit of a tapper. Now, in production, we're going to make this a little bit thicker, and obviously the tension will be... Um, a little it'll be added tension that won't happen uh but i kind of want to get it uh sorted out and i want to see the inside so you're going to be looking at a t15 on the pivot this is tie connector hardware which i have to say probably has some of the best tooling out there um it just really i was expecting it to stay on there but it really pops in there nice and deep that's what she said and that's very important to me um so you can just go in and unscrew it and you don't have to be uh feeling like you're gonna have the um bit slip out or anything like that we're gonna use a t8 down here it should all be t8 down here unless it's t10 for whatever reason but i don't think so so this one is a t8 as well and then we have this guy down here this is gonna be the uh clip screw i assume and i probably could have just you know taking that out and not worried about it um but i wanted to see inside so you have this longish screw that holds in the clip and we can get this guy apart hopefully you see if there's any reason yep so here's the inside obviously again this is a prototype i don't know how much different it would look irl or uh in production now, I talked to Dylan over at um, Shank, and he said they use tie connector for their bearings. I kind of want to test out skiffs to see if it makes uh, any type of difference. I really like skiffs, so um, even though I do like tie connector and they are already ordering those, um, may not be worth a swap, but I do feel like it'd be nice to maybe use skiffs um for our knives because i do have a connection to them i really like skiffs um, but i do like tie connectors as well they said they've used both and they just didn't um uh, see the need for the phosphor bronze cage which makes sense you can see it's all polished right in here which is nice so the bearings are riding on that detent track rides on that polished area very very smart we have a pass-through detent hole i love that um I would like to have every one of our knives have a pass-through detent hole. I just think it's smart because then material passes through and you don't have to worry about it. Um, let's take out this pivot barrel, clean that up. Okay, so here's your pivot barrel. This screw is affixed on there. I don't know, you can see a little space, so I don't know how they set that up, but I don't want to go crazy with it clean the washers a little bit and we can take a look inside here um wonder if those are locating holes right here and here because um, i don't see any function for that the blade goes here the stop pin rides in here i like how the stop pin actually has a little divot i guess to sit in and it has a shouldered area on each side which is kind of cool never noticed that so it kind of sits in there and then interesting okay lock face everything looks good here's the uh, steel insert all of this is pretty standard you have a, a pin right here that is helping for stability here's the backspacer all the usual stuff what was i thinking about um thinking about doing something taking the clip off duh so here's fun part it's very tight in here so let's see if we loosen this guy up if that frees our backspacer yep so now our backspacers come off with that pin sometimes just a screw can uh put a lot of pressure down duh um there's another little guy right here. See that? I don't know what that is. Is that holding the clip in? 
That would be interesting. I don't know how to get the clip off. So, let's put some stuff aside. I'm going to grab a pry. I need to be careful because if I can't get it off, then I need to... I don't want to make it worse. Is that coming up at all? I don't want to push in that area. It's almost like there's another screw in there. But I don't know how you would unscrew that. Right? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know if it's just a pin. It's not wanting to budge when I give it ugh, any pressure. Interesting. I don't have anything in here I can push, really. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. It honestly looks threaded. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? What could I be missing, guys? There's that guy. Oh. I think I got it to shift a little. So that's good. I think it's just in there real tight. Yep, there we go. Alright. So let's see. Oh, shit. No way. I think it is screwed in. You have to loosen it out? No. That would be crazy, but I doubt it. Yeah, that is what's happening right now. Dude. Maybe it's a pin. Okay, it is a pin. Damn, that is a nice design, dude. Shout out to Dylan over at Shank Knives. Um, yeah, he designed the clip. We asked for the clip. We kind of we designed it, but he did it in CAD and made it. Um, I don't know if Colin added that little notch or if Dylan did, but that's genius. It really secures that clip. Um, just makes it a little harder to remove, so I need to be a little bit more careful. I just don't want to end up having to take it off and on a bunch of times because that was difficult. Um, I just need a little more pressure so it's not a tapper, you know. But it's hard to tell without, well, popping it back in. Yeah, it's kind of down. So we got to see now it's back to just got to just a process. So the best way for me, I think, to do this, ah, there's no way to mount it backwards because of the pin in there. And I'm guessing I'm not going to get that pin out very easy, so. I obviously don't want to snap this thing, but I want to get the tension I want. It's thin enough that I can bend it by hand, which is good. So let's see if that worked. There we go. Obviously, you have less of a lip because I did bend that. Honestly, I don't think I needed to bend it here. I needed to bend it here. So this part can come back up, if that makes sense. Let's see if I can do that. So I just wanna hold this area still and bend this part up. Doing it by hand is interesting for sure. I think I got it a little bit.
but I may have gone back to tapping now. No tap. And we got a little bit more of a bend there. See that? So it'll go in the pocket. Should be good. Let's see. Um, well, I guess it is in. We're, gonna, we're not going to know until we put it back together. Um, all right. So everything's cleaned. Let's try the skips. These are going to be 3 16th, uh, 1 16th, just so you know show you that this barrel is going to drop right where's uh 3 16th right here okay so it won't drop into the four millimeter obviously fits in the five millimeter but it fits in the 3 16th and then the bearings are going to fall right through here but not through here okay 3 16th 1 16th and then i have a bunch of those go so you're looking at the same bearings right same thickness same pretty much the same right you just have tie connector and skiff i think with skiff you get more balls if i'm not mistaken it looks like you get one two wait are these the right ones um three sixteenth one sixteenth they seem a little bigger right little taller pocket so we got to make sure they fit yep they fit all right um so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine balls versus 11. so you get two more balls i think that actually is a benefit so we'll see make sure they are working as in, they're moving around in there. Feels fine to me. This one. Feels fine. Usually, if I feel any anything, I'll just put it in alcohol like this. Spray it down a little bit, roll it around. I think these were used and I put them back so it's just good to give them a little cleaning because you're moving the balls around and you're moving the alcohol through the cage where the balls are which makes sense right so you're cleaning them sorry i'm trying not to get alcohol and everything even though i am there we go all right okay i think we've established i'm a nerd all right uh where's the card here all right and let's see how it goes all right so we do have collars um they're probably very yep firmly in there i'm gonna see if i can flip these washers just so that we have fresh track they look clean on both sides yeah so we have a fresh track for our Skifferunus to run on. Makes sense to me. All right. Our uh, pivot barrel. I'm going to grab some KPL Original. Just get that on there. So I just put a little on and then kind of use my fingers and run it around. Doesn't need to be a lot. We opened it from the lock side, so or the show side, so let me just clean this. So the idea here with the collars and backspacer and everything is we can anodize these different colors as we go uh, through different versions of the knife. We're going to start with this version. Um, all right, so this goes where? Backspacer. So let's get this back on. So we just need to take this, guess that pin, nope, doesn't drop in there. So there's this pin that goes in here. Whoops. Just push that through. Well, now it just flops right through, right? Before, couldn't even pull it out. There we go. 
put that there, take this screw, I think it was this one, doesn't really matter. Come on, what is going on? Jeez, tooling's good. Taking my time here and just slowly pulling it in. So backspacers in, which is good. These screws are for the clip and everything. We've got our bearings. Make sure these are dry. Now, the knife may have been designed with the tie connectors in mind, so we might end up with some kind of issue, and we'll switch back if we have to. Sometimes tolerances are extremely tight based on, you know, certain bearings. Maybe the centering gets thrown off, right? It's kind of how it goes sometimes. Majority of the time, that's usually the issue, is just centering. It's not really anything else. Um, I wanted to mention, some people noted in my um, Gunslinger disassembly that I should try reassembling with the knife in the full open position. And the reason I don't do that is, uh, there's two reasons, but the first is... If you reassemble it like this, what happens is a lot of times this lock bar, especially if you have a good detent, it will over travel like it just did. So it is well past where it normally would be. So if I put this together right now, I'm not going to be able to push this lock bar back past, right? So maybe if I opened it and then kind of reset it like this it might work but you can see how far past it's traveling i just don't think that's a great idea and the second reason is i prefer if possible to reassemble in the closed position because now your stop pin is engaged and your detent is engaged in the detent hole which i think gives the knife the best chance of being put together as tight as it could be put together you don't have any pressure from the lock or anything like that at least that's my theory on it um but i changed my mind a lot so don't hold me to that all right we got everything so let's do this okay so there we go everything's popping in which is nice you take this screw here this screw goes through into the clip and I did not get to clean this so hold on hopefully it doesn't pop okay pop apart just gonna clean off our screw here and I actually didn't have to Loctite this which was nice it was loosening at first but then it stopped so I don't know if it just got tight enough to where it didn't matter or, you know, the knife settled in. I don't know. It's interesting sometimes figuring that stuff out. Um, I need to clean the inside of it too. So. Okay, this should be good. That not threading. What's going on?
something out with the threads on here or what? I just wanted to go on this side, I guess. Um, I like that I can tighten it to where it feels very tight and I'm not feeling like I'm going to have anything strip or anything like that. Centering looks dead on. I don't know how tight I went, so we'll figure that out. Flicks out, great. Clip, not tapping, which is wonderful. That was the goal here. No play. No stick. Oh, my God. Skips for the win, baby. Yeah, I think I'll try to see if um, we can get it made with skips. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to do that, but we'll figure that out. Feels amazing. Always struggle with the thumb flick on this guy. But feels a little easier now. Yeah, that's money. So there you go. That is a disassembly, reassembly of the Devo knives. Let me tighten that down a little more. Centering is, looks dead nuts to me. No play, no rock. It swings right down. Feels solid. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can make sure. Whoops. Where's the other driver? Oh, right here. Make sure everything's tight. Tight. Tight, tight, tight. Tight, tight, very tight on everything. So I went just tight enough to get it. <laughs> wow, that is not even feeling like it's moving at all. Probably because it didn't. There we go. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, let me try this again. Let me just listen. Start from scratch. Centered. Pops. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that feels wonderful, guys. So I think I'm going to stick with the uh, skiffs. They just feel good in there. And the centering's dead on I mean looks great to me I don't see maybe look at the tip it's dead down the center yeah this feels great I don't know if I just learned how to flip it oh there it is all right I think it's just the lock like, if I could get on the lock bar with the index finger, it won't open. Or I just don't know how to use my thumb. But the reverse flick, I'm freaking money at. So I think it's a personal thing. There it is. Ah, I figured it out. So I'm trying to flick from up here, which makes it a lot harder. If you just flick from down here, you can get... Um, better leverage or you could just suck at thumb flicking
why it's like requiring that shake at the end. It's not swinging through that. Like right here. track. Let's try that. Yep. See that difference? How it just glides right through and down. And it's because there was nothing on the detent track. The detent ball was just dragging on the... Even though it's a polished surface, I mean, that makes a huge difference, you know? Having it be... I cleaned it with alcohol, you know what I mean? All right, cool. So I think I might just Loctite it real quick and call her a day i don't even know if i need to honestly it might just stay because that's what happened last time so i'll just carry it and see if it loosens then i'll know but yeah that's i mean that's all the way tight i think too yeah i can't go any tighter than that right there dead centered and <laughs> yeah okay um, I'm stoked on that. So yeah, uh, we're going to get these into production ASAP. We're just waiting on that final quote. Um, hopefully we'll have it by the time this video goes up and then I can tell you it's in production. That'd be great. Um, but we're going to do a batch of 20 in this configuration right here. Just a little bit of a thicker clip. And then this jimping is going to run all the way down. This patch will be jimped. So everybody will have a grip. So... Let me know what you guys think. Um, appreciate your time watching this. I know it's a struggle watching me disassemble stuff sometimes, but in the end, we get there. And um, it's cool to see a US made knife like this with the really cool uh, engineering inside, like the way he did the clip and um, the backspacer. It's just cool. I, I really enjoy it. So, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I. We'll catch you later.